This Pokemon champion has appeared in more Pokemon games than any other, featuring in six of the nine generations so far. His iconic team of Pokemon have mostly stayed the same over the years, and seem to indicate that the official timeline of events took place in Pokemon Yellow. Beginning his journey with a Pikachu that refuses to evolve, followed by receiving a Charmander after crossing the Nugget Bridge, a Bulbasaur in Cerulean City, and a Squirtle in Vermilion City from Officer Jenny. Lapras and Snorlax again makes sense as Lapras is obtained from a Silphco employee, and as Snorlax is required to be caught or defeated in order to travel to Fuchsia City. However, in Generation 2, Lapras has been switched for Espeon, seemingly out of place at first, but this can refer to the Eevee you obtained from Bill and Saladin City that has evolved from having high friendship. The only mainline games that don't follow this logic are the Let's Go titles, where Charizard and Blastoise have been replaced by Machamp and Arcanine. But what are your theories as to why these Pokemon were chosen?